let's take a look at these electrifying plays and see why this is grade A pro material. Yeah, you see here, I mean, 30 seconds left in regulation. That miner comes in behind the magic archer. You see the bar barrel come down, not gonna be enough. And those pups going to town on the tower, obviously not an insane amount of damage, but it's about this Inferno Dragon right here. And the Mega Minion tanking for it gets on top of tower, sizzling away. And we're moving to our fourth game of King of the Hill. That was a really important lightning there. It does make things a lot closer, even though, oh yeah, with the poison taking that right-hand tower down to 1352. The lightning, though, huge. I was saying the kick grab on the prince is that the bowler can't clear it out of the way. And there that it is! Is it! Immortals is your North American champion! SK playing the best defense of their careers. Wow, if SK can survive this and get a draw, this will be amazing. Of 10 seconds left, they might be able to do oh it. Oh my gosh, they keep the we're so off. close. That flying oh machine. Oh my god! Wow, the flying machine and the bench and war rooms of Team K so electric. Never give up, never surrender. Looks like it's Low Eye choosing to go all in in the right hand lane, down to 688. The battle ram does get stopped though, and he's not defending this golem, so choosing to go all the way in, will he get on tower? I can't believe it! I was almost 100% sure Loa was going to get on tower. It looked like he had, but Team Queso sweeps it! Oh my god, Loai choosing to commit all the way on offense, and I am absolutely floored in this moment. It doesn't get better than this here at CRL.